tubes. Um, I'm gonna do a little video about the benders I use and how I bend pipe. Maybe a couple tips and tricks on how I bend the ACR copper, the hard drawn tubing. So I got a piece right here we're gonna make some bends on today. I don't know if there's anything left on this one we can read, it's a scrap piece. It comes nitrogenized, it's hard drawn pipe. If you bend it without annealing it, it will kink. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I anneal it and some tricks and tips on how I bend it. And first I'll just show you the benders I use. These are just regular old standard Imperial benders. This one's for half inch, so I rock a half incher. I rock a five eighths, I rock a seven eighths. Anything over seven eighths, I use fittings just because I don't have a bender that goes bigger. They probably do make benders that go bigger. I don't have one. I never have had one in my 31 years of doing this. Um, when I get to line sets that big, I'll use fittings, big elbows. Um, a lot of you have seen this little bender. This is really popular. It'll do, um, it's a really good bender. There's the yellow jacket part number on that little bender. Yellow jacket 60390. Super solid. However, this Imperial bender, if I was, if you guys are on a tight budget just starting out, I'd purchase this bender. Um, because it does a tighter radius. You're gonna get into making those condensate loops and things like that. You want the tighter radius that this bender makes. And this bender will go, uh, it'll go quarter inch, three eighths, and up to half inch. And you can move this piece right here in the middle, which I'm gonna hold right here and show you as you step up. You can move this for the bigger pieces of pipe. It will come up if I get it loose. And you can see there, these are the three pipe sizes. Quarter inch, three eighths, and a half. You would set it accordingly. I'm gonna be playing with some three eighths today, so I'll put it right here. This one's adjustable and makes tighter radiuses. Let's see if I can get a part number for you guys on this. This is the Imperial. Okay, a couple things. Um, so just for this video purposes, I'm not gonna purge nitrogen through here, but when you're annealing, you need to purge your nitrogen. Um, there's different plugs available. This is just a, a A31004 access fitting, standard copper quarter inch access fitting. You can get some plugs. The pipe will come with plugs in it. I've drilled holes through these to put the access fitting through. Anything to get a plug, get your fitting in there, get your nitrogen purging while you're annealing it. After it's annealed, then you're good to go. Uh, another thing you want as you anneal it, and I'll show you, you want to get some wet rags. So after you got it all hot and annealed, you can cool it down so you can get to working faster. And uh, with that, um, I'll draw a little map of how we're going to make some bends and then I'll show you how this we do it. I want to come out eight. We'll say like off the table eight. Then we're going to, uh, pardon me, we're going to come down eight, go over five and then back over. So we're going to make a piece of pipe that looks like this. You don't have to get it red hot. I, I get it like this where it turns black.
that right there is going to be enough so I can get my first bends going. Now, I'll cool that piece off, move the pipe down so I can get the a big chunk of the piece annealed so I can make multiple bends at one time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make my first mark at 8 inches. That's where we want to make our first bend. So you want to take your mark and line it up with the 45 on the bender heel. The mark goes to the 45. Let's go ahead and bend that and see where we come out. We'll go ahead and bend that right there. Take the zero to the 90. I'll show you guys that right there. Just a hairball more. Okay, so you bend that around. And then take the zero mark on the top to the 90 mark on the heel. And that should put our bend at eight inches right there. Pretty darn close. Okay, our next bend. You're going to measure from the back of the 90. And our next one, we to come over at five inches. Come down to five and make your mark. Measuring from the back. From the back of the copper is how I do it. And your mark up with the 45 on the heel. And we got it facing out this way because we want the pipe to bend back this way to us. So let's go ahead and get that on there and bend it up. Again, getting the line onto the 90. The head on it to the 90, so... That's where we're going to be. We got that one. Now we're coming on this one. Lining up our marks. So now we're from there to there. Let's take a look at this. Put the camera down. And then so far, here's our little piece of pipe. So I'm going to stick this up here like this. So we came down. We came over. And now we got to come back out towards me on the bottom. So again, what we're going to do until we get this one coming out, we're going to measure from the back. And then we'll come out this way. And see how I do that? I'm measuring from the back. I'm going to come out six inches. Make my mark. Mark lined up on the 45 on the heel, and then we'll go ahead and bend this 90. That's where we're at so far. That's what it looks like. 90, 90, and now we're going to 90 it back to me. Okay, then we got that one 90 would over. We'll get our piece of pipe out of there. And just like our little map I drew. Now we got our little piece of pipe. Come off there, come over, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so looking at it from here, that's what it would end up looking like. So, I guess the main trick and tip is you got to kneel the hard pipe. You want to measure, get your first bend, measure from the back of your 90. Make sure your mark's lined up on the 45 of the heel of the bender and measure from the back of the 90 to the next mark. That's how I do it. I hope this has been helpful to you guys watching. You guys that bend pipe more than me or know more about it, please leave a comment below and we'll help out any of the new guys that are rocking and rolling on this. And uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.